Hey there guys, welcome back to Anthony Vlogs, where Anthony vlogs. Um, so I've had this idea in my head for a couple months now. Um, you may have heard a while back, not a couple months, it's been well, maybe a little over a month. Uh, a while back, they announced that James Franco, of all people, was working with Fox to develop a multiple man movie set in the X-Men universe. Um, and so this is interesting, to say the least. It's a little bit different, but after things like Deadpool and Logan, I've really come to accept the different when it comes to these comic book superhero films. I wasn't a huge fan of Deadpool, by the way, but the fact that it was... I mean, it was, it, it was at least them making the movie they want to make. It wasn't a studio-mandated big event movie. It was just what Deadpool fans want. And, I mean, Logan was completely different, and I really, really enjoyed it, so... <sighs> Anyways, my idea uh, that I had for a multiple man movie is as follows. So I figured I'd pitch it to you guys because now that Disney has bought Fox, I don't know if we're ever going to get that movie. It may not happen. It, it could happen. Who knows? Um, but I, I don't think so. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But anyway, here's my pitch. So multiple man is known for having a detective agency in the comics uh, during the X Factor run. This was like... 80s, 90s area, I believe. Uh, you know, I'm not exactly, like, the biggest know-it-all fan when it comes to this stuff, but I have an interest in the character and, more importantly, an interest in film when it comes to this. So, you have him as a detective agency. This would be cool. You could have sort of a noir mystery film with the comedic stylings of James Franco. You know, we've seen in stuff like Disaster Artist, he's able to do some interesting stuff. Um, we've seen him do other type of roles. You guys remember Spider-Man? A long time ago, but sure, okay. So he's no, you know, he's no stranger to the comic book world. Either way, you have his detective agency, and we have the whole aspect of the multiple man. He's able to clone himself, and these clones can go out and find different things, you know, they can work on different aspects of different cases, and, uh, you know, you, you kind of have it so that each individual has their own job. And the way my film would go is we have about three or four clones, let's say four, they come back from doing all their duties, and they find that the agency's office has been broken into, and the original multiple man is missing. So now you have these three, four clones that are now trying to find out what happened to the original multiple man. Keep in mind, they're all James Franco. So you've got James Franco playing off of James Franco in sort of a back and forth sort of fun way. You can kind of give each one their own personality if you wanted to, even so. Um, I'm not too sure how you would do that, but you could, you know. You can kind of make them have their own I identities, but still be James Franco. And, of course, you could introduce other X-Men characters, because it's an X-Men movie, and you know, even films like Logan had... Uh, Caliban and, and uh, Professor X. So you can introduce another character, maybe working with uh, multiple man, I'm not too sure. But the main core is James Franco playing off of James Franco, playing off of James Franco. So these four clones now have to find out what happened to the original James Franco, <laughs> the multiple man. And he's been captured by these guys, and they're trying to get information out of him. And, you know, maybe they, they confront, like, this group of goons, and one of the clones, one of the four clones, gets shot and dies. Now, one of the things about Multiple Man in the comics is when his clones die, all the memories and everything go to his brain. They go to his thoughts. So he remembers everything that that clone remembers because their life is over and it, it goes to the original. So, these guys, they're, you know, trying to get Multiple Man all the information about this case that he's been working on, but the clones haven't gotten back to him, so he doesn't have anything yet. But when the first clone dies, he gets a piece of the puzzle. And so the guys who have captured multiple men realize, oh, we have to kill all of these goons. Not these goons, but these copies, essentially. And then the original multiple man will have the information we need and we can beat it out of him or whatever we need to do. So it's a race against the clones of multiple man trying to find the original and the guys who have the original trying to kill these copies so that all the memory can go to the original. You, you following me? I... It, I know it sounds a lot when you're talking about clones and copies and, and memories and all that stuff, but it, you, I think you get it. You get it. You could even have it so that, like, one of the clones is happy that he doesn't have to return to the original multiple man, and he wants to kind of live his own life and not maybe be part of this anymore. You can play on that whole that thing. Maybe he betrays them. Who knows? Could be fun. Um, but overall, without getting into too much detail, that's my pitch for a multiple man movie. You know, you have these clones on the search for the original. 
Meanwhile, these guys are trying to get this information out of them, and they have to kill the original clones. Um, it can be funny, it can be dark, um, it can be a whole lot of different stuff. So it could be kind of like Deadpool, but less look at my balls and more um, situational and improv humor from Franco himself. Um, so yeah, but that's it. Um, tell me what you guys think down below about this movie that'll never get made, and uh, I'm just spouting information on the internet. Uh, for anyone to use. Alright, see you guys later. Mm.